Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make all of these columns much thinner. And then I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search for tile grid map. And then go to images and then choose an image that I want to copy. Then I will split the screen. I will then switch on caps lock and I will copy the state abbreviations into Excel so I get the correct layout. And now that I have all of the states laid out correctly, I'm going to use a formula to get the numbers in this column to also be laid out in the same way. So I'll do equals V lookup and then the lookup value will be this value here. The table array will be this table and I will press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference so it doesn't move around. Then the column index number will be 2 as I want it to show me the results in the second column and the range lookup will be false for an exact match and then close brackets and enter. And I will then click and drag this formula across and then down. Then I don't want to be able to see the NA errors, so I'm going to wrap this formula in the if NA formula. And so that if it is an NA, I will put two quotation marks with nothing in between so that it will show me a blank cell. And then I'll click and drag that formula across and down as well. Then while I still have all of these cells selected, I will apply some conditional formatting. So we'll go to new rule. And then I'll change the minimum to be a number and I will make this half a million. And I'll change the maximum to be 40 million. Then I'll change the colors so that lower numbers are lighter and bigger numbers are darker and OK. Then I want to hide the numbers so I will go to format cells and then change it to a custom format and change it to three semicolons and OK. And that gets rid of all of the numbers. Then I will make all of the columns thinner and I will make a note of the number of pixels. So this is 90 pixels. Then I'll select all of the rows and I will increase the height so they are also 90 pixels. And now all of these are actual squares. Then we will add in a border, so I will go to more borders and then change the style so that it is a thicker line, change the colour to white and then give it an outline and then also an inside border and OK. Then we'll go to view and remove the grid lines. Then select all of the cells that contain the state abbreviations and go to home and put the text in the middle of the cells. And then we will copy all of this and then paste it as a picture. Then take the picture to the side and I will hold down Alt on the keyboard in order to force this picture to snap to the grid so that it will line up with these cells underneath correctly. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a tile grid map in Excel, and that is everything.